Hello, it's Joe Glines, and this is a quick review of the function I wrote for sending text to this output window here in Sight. And so first off, when, when you're in Sight, let's say I, re I launch this script, and it's going to loop over the same 40 times, adding the A index and um, a tab, and so that's, that's basically here. But let me run it. Um, so now when I run it, here in the message box, it shows it here, right? But what if this was 4,000, right? Putting something like this size gets to be pretty unwieldy in a message box, and I can't scroll down, you know, and look at the bottom. I can't do much with it. I also can't highlight it, um, meaning I can't copy and paste from it. But what is cool with Sight is I wrote this function, and here is my little cheat sheet to it, right? So here is the, the text or the variable that we're going to put into it. Um, whether you want to clear the output pane first or not, if you'd like to to prepend a line break before the output you put in there, and also if you want to have it ask you if you want to exit without continuing on. Um, this one, these are the defaults, so normally I have it clear the output, insert the line break, um, and not ask about exiting. So technically we can do something like this. Let me get here. Right, so now when I run this, and it dumps it all, and that was what, that was the 4,000, right? Dumps it all down to this output window. And notice how it, it prepended a blank to it, um, and it's also, um, it's using the default. So it prepends it, it clears the output, inserts line break, does not ask me about exiting. Um, let's say I decide I want to, I don't want to clear the output. So if I change that to a zero, and I relaunch it, now you'll notice, um, it go. It didn't wipe out the output, right? The, the old output was still there. Um, however, I can just go back and change this to a one. Reload it. Launch it. Now there's just the four thousand, right? So that's taking care of that. Do I want to have a line break before it? And let's get back to let's say forty. Okay. Save that um, with the forty. And even then, you can see here. And you know, a, a better case is where I'm not clearing the output. So let me get rid of that guy. And here, you'll notice notice how this one, the 40 here, it, it would have if I did not have this line break. So let's make that back to a zero. It would have put it, see how here, it puts it right next to it, right? More often than not, I, I want it to be starting on its own line. And um, yeah, you could control that within your program, but hey, you know what? I just put the defaults to have it that way. Um, and again, let's say we had 4,000. Um, this part, if you want to make this a one, what it'll do is when it runs it, it says, hey, you know, you just did something. This is just a way for me to check to say, do you really want to keep running the script? Um, exit the application. You can hit yes or no. Actually, you know, I should probably change the default to be no, but um, here I can just say yes, and you don't see it, but now it, I can't actually hit any hotkeys because the script stopped. It exited. And so let's take a look at the function real quick. It's pretty short. Um, here's the function, right? Here's where I define the um, default values. And in it, I first say, okay, give me the application, give me an object to the open site application. Um, and then I have some just basically one line logic um, where, hey, if the clear value is one, right? So if this value is set to one, then it's going to send this message to wipe the output window. Then it goes to the next one. If the, um, if the line break is equal to one, then hey, let's prepend uh, line return new line in front of text, right? And it's just going to set it here. So now that text variable is going to have basically this prepended to it, and so that'll be saved there. Then, regardless of that, it sends the output, the the variable to the output window, the output pane. And next, here it says, hey, if exit is equal to one, then let's ask with a message box, um, do you want to exit the application? And depending if you say yes, it'll just exit the app. And that's it. That's It's a very short function, but comes in real handy when you're you're dealing with a lot of output and you want to be able to grab stuff from it, because it's, it's very nice to be able to, to grab the stuff here and copy and paste it or manipulate it. Um, besides, you don't have to create a GUI to see, you know, instead of just dumping it into a message box. So if you save this file, the site underscore output, into your lib folder, um, so here, wherever you have auto hotkey, typically that, that's where I put them is under the auto hotkey where it's installed, the lib folder there, 
Um, in here you'll see I have a site folder, or file, sorry, um, and you name it, the file name needs to be the same as the function for it to work this way. Then you can use this function anywhere you want. You don't have to use an include if you do it that way, which is also very nice. So that's it. I hope, uh, hope it helps. It's, it's a lot of, it's very convenient to be able to just dump stuff to this output window because otherwise it's not used for much. Thanks.